realize this, but Chicago has a lot of great fresh local produce that you can take advantage of. So here to show us how is the James Beard award-winning chef from North Pond Restaurant, Bruce Sherman. Hi, Bruce. Hey, how are you, Mel? Good, good. Thanks for being here. Well, it's a pleasure. First, tell us about North Pond. North Pond's uh, nestled in the park, just north of the North Pond, of course, between <laughs> Fullerton and Adversity. We're uh, almost a hundred year old building. Really? It used to be a warming house back when people skated on the pond. Oh wow, tell us about the menu. The menu's all about the time of year. Mm. You know, this time of year we're using this great local produce. Peaches, melons, corn, eggplant. I mean, if there's one time that should be the easiest to cook locally, this is the time. Right, and you have a great relationship with Green City Market as well. Absolutely, it's really important to to foster relationships with the farmers who raise your product, raise your food. Right. Well, in fact, we caught you shopping the other day. Take a look at this. Oh. You got some eggs, I hope, for me. Ten dozen, maybe? They're fresh, they're cold, everything you need, right? Beautiful. It's great. It's important to taste the corn before you try it. We're getting traditional Italian, what's called Genovese basil, which is this beautiful green basil. And then we've got opal basil, which is beautiful. They not only look good together, but they taste great. Hey, Abby. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks. Okay, I want to get some of the incredible blueberries we sure. have there. The blackberries are exceptional. <laughs> is this going to be the, um, the last variety of the year, or is there a late uh, crop as well? Two more. Two more. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. You don't need to do anything to those things. All right. Thanks, All right. Abby. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Daniel. All right. Ciao. Thanks a lot. Look at there. So, Bruce, everything you bought that day you used at the restaurant? We sure did, and more. Really? Sure. Okay. Well, what are we So we're going to make a cornbread pancake here with white corn that we get at the market, some local fine coarse ground grits together. Well, that berry is great. Isn't that good? That's yes. a blackberry. We're going to add some corn to it if you want to do that. Okay, sure. Just dump Put it about in. half of that I in I think there. G has a question for you while we're cooking. Okay. Half of it? I was no, just wondering, I mean, do you already have your menu planned out before you go to the market, or does it change sure. once you see the produce and uh, what's it's available? It's a little of both. I mean, I think that if I were cooking for myself, I could go to the market and decide what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But if I have to serve, 140 people in a night, it's kind of hard to be spontaneous and get right. all the prep done. Right. Chef, how much has the drought affected the farmers and the local produce? Uh, it's a great question. It's, it has definitely affected it. Yeah. It's affected certain things beneficially, if you can believe that. Most others, not so much. The things like the blackberries that Val just tasted have gotten sweeter. Cucumbers have gotten sweeter, in fact, because of the heat. It intensified their flavor and melons really concentrate their sugar. But things like beans have been awash this year, no pun intended. <laughs> um, We've had problems with, pe well, peppers, jalapenos, padrone peppers have gotten actually twice as hot as they normally are. Wow. Because of the heat, they have to build up a stronger skin and reinforce their their heat um, on the on the palate. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Bruce, this right here is garlic scape. So this scape? is a garlic scape. Dump what half of those garlic in there. Scape? If you dump it in there, I'll tell you. Okay, dump all of it. <laughs> okay. That's a, this is a scape. Why don't we go with the jalapenos and okay. we can mix it up while I'm talking to you. Okay. This is a garlic scape. It's also a, a seed shoot, uh, a garlic shoot. It's beautiful. I mean, aesthetically, it it's is. really pretty. But it's and this is the seed pot. It comes from an onion, a scallion, a garlic piece. And it's a dense piece. It's almost like a green bean in texture, but it tastes like garlic. Do, and now, do you only get that at the market? You can only find these at the, well, most of the market. I, I yeah. think you might find them in, maybe in Chinatown or down down in an ethnic market. But if you want to shop locally, it's you find them at the market. And do Absolutely. you use this whole thing for this recipe? We used... Uh, there are two or three of those. From the, not the bottom, not the top, and we cut it up like a green bean. Oh, yeah. But it has a taste of garlic. It tastes like garlic. It's a little more subtle and has a great texture. Hmm. So okay. we're going to take that. Mm, that smells good. Is that like a ramp or? Um, it's kind of like a ramp. A ramp is more like a, a wild garlic. Okay. This comes from a cultivated garlic. It's beautiful. It's almost like you don't mm -hmm. even want to cook it. Mm -hmm. You can just put it like in a floral arrangement. Right. <laughs> it is great in a floral arrangement. I'm going to ask you to take okay. three scoops of that and three scoops. put it in the black pan. So why here. so small here? We just uh, want tiny little pancakes? It's a it's a more fragile pancake, and I didn't want to embarrass anyone on TV. Oh, <laughs> like me. Oh, you've watched this show before. Is that what yeah, you're trying to say? Yeah, we're good at that, Chef. We're I'm good at that. Saying. <laughs> Is that good? Is that my doing good. this we'll right? We'll put one right over here. Yep. Okay. We'll see when we flip it over. And Val mentioned it. Congratulations on the James yes. Beard Award. After Thanks five consecutive yeah. nominations, you, got right. the, you took it home. It was my sixth year, unbelievably. Yeah. So I heard that you weren't going to even go. I thought about not going. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> it so made when it you got that there, much sweeter. And when you heard your name and you got there, you are like, 
thank goodness I made yeah, this trip. It's more huh? like a scream of exhilaration <laughs> than it actually happened. So we're going to plate this up. It's going it to, it takes a couple of minutes for these to cook. Okay. I've made some for you. Okay. And we've got a fruit compote here. I've made a basil syrup. Basil syrup? I've taken some of the basil we found at the market. Uh-huh. And I've steeped it in a simple syrup, which is mm. like a sugar syrup. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, How's it taste, it for guys? about a half an hour. I it's delicious. I love it. It's, it's so delicious. fresh. So we put some of that local fruit from Michigan uh -huh. together with the basil syrup. And then you just cook it. And, that's and then it. you just cook it down, finish it with a little bit of butter because what's not good with butter? Everything tastes better with right? butter. Well, listen, if you want this recipe at home and any more information on North Pond and the Green City Market, be sure to visit our website. We're going to have more Windy City Live right after this. As we want to thank Chef Bruce Sherman from North Pond. This is amazing. Okay. Okay.